Most of us know Elon Musk as the CEO and founder of high-profile companies like Tesla and SpaceX, however. What we don't know is that this billionaire has his fingers in many different pies, including some unconventional ones, one of which is the fascinating Neuralink. Neuralink, as the name suggests, is a neurodish company working on many projects, including microchips, that go in your brain. Welcome back to another project. To many people that have heard about how one day robots and AI will one day take over the world and get rid of all of human civilization and all those ridiculous stories, the idea of having a piece of technology placed in the central processing unit of the entire human body might sound like the scariest thing since the Great Depression. But the truth of the matter is that the idea of having these brain microchips seems to be universally misunderstood. Twitter's beloved Elon Musk is working on microchips intended to create a symbiosis between the human brain and artificial intelligence. But isn't that dangerous? What if those microchips get hacked? What if they rust in our brain? What if the microchip takes over and we become slaves to the AI? These questions are completely natural and we will address them later in the video. However, don't forget that the real purpose of these microchips is not to hack your mind. Instead, it is to help your mind so that you can work on all its shortcomings together. Doesn't that sound cool? However, if you're still skeptical, join us in this video as we answer all your questions about brain microchips. We will cover many different aspects, including why it has so much controversy, how far it has developed, what are companies like Neuralink trying to achieve. Lastly, we will knock down all the myths that people have been spreading so that you can understand brain microchips in a more comprehensive way. This technology of putting chips into brains is not new, it started way back in 1924 by this guy, Mr. Hans Berger. He was a German psychiatrist who pioneered the idea of brain-machine interface, or BMI in short. His approach to this was absolutely genius. Berger first tried using silver plates underneath his patient's scalps and running it through an electrometer, which ended up being a fail. Later, this technology was replaced with silver foils and rubber bandages, and instead of the electrometer, he used the more accurate galvanometer which displayed electric voltages as small as one ten thousandth of a volt. This ended up being a huge success and would be the first milestone in psychiatry, as it led to endless possibilities in terms of research of the brain. This became known as electroencephalography or EEG. I know it's starting to sound too technical, but stick with me here. This technology became well advanced that four decades later a music composer, by the name Alvin Lucier had even figured out how to play percussion instruments by directly using EEG that was back in 1965. Now picture this. It's a bright lovely day in 2040. You come home tired after a long day at work and you just want to relax. You walk over to your gaming console, switch it on, and then you're ready to have a relaxing night playing your favorite video games. Except it's 20 years in the future and you don't need a game controller. You can simply play with your mind. How crazy is that? Well, with brain microchips, you can achieve that. In fact, just a few months ago, Neuralink released a video in which a monkey with a microchip in its brain was able to play video games without a game controller. Doesn't that excite you? However, that's just one use of a microchip. It can also be used for many other things like reviving a paralyzed arm or helping people with neurological diseases. You see, the aim of Neurodich is the same as every other technology in the world which is to aid humans and make their lives easier and not make things more difficult. Every new technology comes with a unique set of risks and rewards, and just because there are some risks doesn't mean we can overlook the countless rewards. Just imagine what would happen if companies like NASA stopped sending missions in outer space because of all the risks. Would that be helpful to humanity as a whole? Of course not. This is why NASA, like any other company, works on minimizing the risks and then continues to send its excursions so that humanity can benefit as a whole. So what exactly does Neuralink plan? This company founded in 2016 is working on a surgical robot that can operate flexible probes into the brain. At first in 2019, they described it as sewing machine-like device capable of implanting very thin threads into the brain. After further development, the robot was described as device, which may help in avoiding the problems of tissue damage and longevity associated with larger and more rigid probes in order to and to penetrate the meninges and tissue cerebral. Just in 2020, three out of the eight scientists who founded the project had left citing years of internal conflict in which rushed timelines have clashed with the slow and incremental pace of science. But this did not stop Neuralink from breaking new ground, 
and by July Neuralink had received a FDA breakthrough device designation, which allows limited human testing under the FDA guidelines for medical devices. In the past few decades, we have seen technology evolve in ways never imagined before. Our lives have grown much easier and we have been able to fix so many problems that had previously existed in society. Lack of international communication is just one. Look at these microchips in the same way. They are here to fix our problems, aid with health issues, and possibly increase brain power so that we can work in a more efficient manner. Right now the field of neurodish, and more specifically microchips, is relatively new. However, with time the advantageous possibilities will increase exponentially and we plan on keeping you updated with every single one of them. Unfortunately, one of the factors that are hindering progress in neurotech, in general, is all the controversy and criticism regarding this field. As a norm people are threatened by anything new in this world and neurotech is no exception. Just recently the heads of the Informatics Association in Turkey expressed concerns about the potential risks that come along with brain implants. These concerns range from health problems such as internal damage or scars to privacy and security concerns such as the possibility of your brain being hacked. A lot of people also fear that once these microchips are implanted, the government will be able to track them at all times. However, what most of them don't realize is that the government is already tracking us with our beloved phones. The good news is that this can actually help us in many difficult times such as the pandemic when the US government used phone location to track the coronavirus. Maybe, technology isn't all bad. Unfortunately, the criticism and backlashes are presented with so much force that it discourages more research into this field. It also prevents people from finding solutions to these legitimate concerns. However, despite this staunch opposition, companies like Neuralink are working on furthering this technology so that we can extract different uses. Experts say that the first application is probably one that will allow paralyzed people to exert finer motor control over a prosthetic limb. Musk has also made a claim that the chips could help people dealing with autism however keep in mind the technology is in its initial phases and it's too soon to tell. With that said, that's all that we have for you guys today. What do you guys think about the application of brain microchips? Are you guys scared or are you guys excited? We love hearing from you guys so tell us your take in the comments section down below. We hope that you enjoyed watching this video and we hope you learned some valuable information. If you enjoyed this video, you should watch this other one about how supersonic planes failed, and this one about the biggest competitors Tesla currently has in the market. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more updates on what's happening in the tech world. You can also press the bell icon so you get a notification every time we upload a new video. Until next time.